Get our gang game audio down here. How you going? We're back in the Neverwinter. I'm gonna go and get these upper seals done this time. So we need to go over here. Five wheels within wheels. What? <laughs> wheels within wheels. Okay. Oh, I heard about this uh, Neverwinter re remastered. I think it's been remastered. I just sort of caught something on Steam before. And I don't know if it's out or if it's coming out soon, but I wonder if that might be worth a look into. So I never got to play Neverwinter back in the day, and I did get it, like uh, a copy of it on good old games, I think it is. Um, they were giving it away free one day, and I just, just clicked on the button, and it's in my inventory there, in my gaming inventory, and uh, I loaded it up once, but I couldn't really... You are now fighting at level 30. I couldn't really, um... I, I guess I didn't really get into it. <laughs> Graphically speaking. It was a little bit, I had a few settings that I had to muck around with. So, I might, I might have to check it out. You are now fighting at level 31. Oh, what's happening is it's, it's scaling up. Hey, is that new? I don't remember seeing that before. Yeah, it's either that or maybe I'll just check it out when, uh, if that, maybe the remastered edition is out now. But perhaps I, I should check it out at that point. See what that's like. Yeah, it's another one of those games that I told people I haven't played. They go, you haven't played that? What? What have you been doing? It's like, uh, what's the other game? Baldur's Gate. You haven't played Baldur's Gate? What? Yeah, and uh, I actually had Baldur's Gate 2. Um, but I didn't end up getting around to, to playing it, to playing the game, so I just gave it to my dad. And he enjoyed it. And I still have no idea. I played Dark Alliance. And I know that's nothing like Baldur's Gate, but I like Dark Alliance. I had that on the PlayStation 2. And that's another one which I think now has a remastered edition. So possibly a game I should check out. Which is a shame, I mean, sometimes you look at those games, you know, from 10, 15 years back, and you're like, you missed it at the time, and you look at, like, pictures or screenshots, and you're like, ah, oh, the graphics just aren't that good, are they? But, you play a game, like, I played Fallout, not too, not too long ago, and Fallout 1, and, you know, it, it's been a long time since that came out, and I only played, played it, like, a, a year ago or so, and, uh, mate, Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic game. We must stop what is happening in Craftsman's Rest. Wheels within wheels complete. Excellent. Let's hope you get into the water clock tombs before Valindra. Okay. Yes, let's hope. Yes, Chettlebell? What now, mate? Have I told you I'm a genius? Excellent! You should be able to enter the clockwork tomb via the main entrance now. You'd best hurry. Harper Windle's spies report that Valindra's troops are close to breaking through into the tomb. If Valindra gets her hands on the Cult of the Dragon artifacts buried with Romani Manini and frees Azazel, it bodes ill for Neverwinter. And yours truly, of course. Well, we can't have that, can we? We cannot have that, but, uh, yeah, let's stop them. Alright, so we get into the tomb, which is that place, right. Which I think now we may have entered all those pla- oh, did we get- we may have gone through there. All those places which I went up to and I was like, can I actually go in there? Can we go in there? Can we do that? Am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. <laughs> Take a shortcut, here we go. Don't knock me off my horse. All 
ride past this guard over here. This big old guardian statue reminds me of reminds me of the never ending story. When he has to pass through that uh I can't remember what it is. Is it a gate or something? I can't remember what it was actually. But there's all these statues everywhere and they shoot laser beams from their eyes. I should watch that again. Saw that when I was a kid. When I was a little fella. Alright, we're in. Yep. Mounting works good. Well, it's the clockwork tomb and there's a clockwork approach the approach to the clock clockwork tomb let's get those green items What's over there? I see it. I see it. I bought a few dungeoneering kits as well. Oh no, it broke. But I got a few of them, so... 75% is pretty good, right? Just wonder how I can increase that. Whether it's just a better, better kit, or... Seventy-five percent chance with that. Everything's thirty-five percent with all my kits. So it must be. I wonder if you can get like a better kit, improved kit. Here. Yeah, so I got my little merchant over there and I cracked him open. My number three button there and bought a whole bunch of kits. So that way I can interact with all those. Uh, you know, like religion. I don't know what you call them. Little sites, little areas which you, you need to use a kit to, uh, to potentially open. Like this, for example. We got a wizard of Thay. I think we need is that nature, nature area, nature thing. <laughs> That's good. Have a name. A sight of nature. Magical uh, collection of da, 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 da. allows use of arcana interacts. Interacts. Use of religion interacts. Little artifacts of some sort.
Oh, what's going on? Which family, Barry? Oh, dead. Good, good. Good job, buddy. Yeah, let me interact with this. Check out the other side. Anything over there? Nine. All right, up we go. Oh, hello. All right, here we go. Rest here for a little bit. Get warm. Heal up. Oh, here we go. The clockmakers were masters of metallurgy and mechanical engineering. They harnessed the power of flowing water to turn the weighty gears of their immense timepieces. Living by the moving hands of time, they only thought it fitting to rest eternally in clockwork catacombs. Now, let's pull this lever. Start the first clock complete. Set the hour. The door is open. Red whistle. Oh, man. Let's throw these down. Okay, let's pull this one. Start the second clock complete. Let's go, buddy. Oh, I didn't even see that door there. Watch out for those two traps. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I can do this. Maybe we can throw this down. What if that... Those traps were detected previously? Like, sorry, whether I could visually see them or not. Prior to them being sprung. We'll find out in a second. A tome found within the clockmaker's catacombs describes the trials of the clockmaker. Most of what's written inside is useless jargon and obscure ritual, but a few fragments are intelligible. It seems the clockmakers place great value on the act of accurately setting their clocks. Particularly important is the ability to set one clock based on the time displayed on another. Vague references are made to the catacombs and the various mechanisms within. I hope you got that all, Mr. Hero Man. Where is it? The binding, the binding, the binding, the binding. Where is it? The binding of Meg, Meg, Megjera? Megjera? A sun elf named Lucan Green Harrow met a human clockmaker by the name of Sabon Rendor, and together they founded what would become the powerful water clock guild, in time making Neverwinter's water clocks among the city's most famous artisan creations. 
In truth, artisanship was only part of the reason for the wonders of the guild's water clocks. Their most prized guild secret was that a similar conjuration magic to that which bound Majera to the inferno with water and water elementals also was the basis for the water clocks, which none outside Neverwinter's water clock guild could ever seem to reproduce. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Some sort of inferno. Some fire based heat thing. Thingamajig. Serpent, perhaps, maybe? Since the spell plague, the graveyard has seen a great deal of body snatching. While the Lord Protector has devoted few of his resources to stopping the practice, so far it has been sporadic and piecemeal. Lately, though, bodies have been disappearing with much greater regularity and in far great large numbers. A tattered ledger sheet from the clockmaker's catacomb sheds light on why columns and rows fill the page listing hundreds, maybe thousands of bodies. Where they came from, where they've been shipped, and what they're being used for. Someone is gathering corpses at an astonishing rate. Uh-oh. Someone's building up an, uh, an army of the undead. Oh what? Oh no! No 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 Man I was not ready for that I hate mimics I don't know if that's the first mimic we've seen in this in this particular area, but every game I've played lately it just says it must be an RPG trope, but I I had never really experienced it until Dark Souls. <laughs> and now it's like everywhere. Thievery kit broke. Let's give it another crack. Success is a doorway here. A lot of undead. Lots of bodies raised. But has somebody been raising even more bodies somewhere else? Talking thousands here. We've probably killed a couple thousand though. You better not be a mimic. Can I shoot? I can't shoot it. Okay, good. <laughs> it opened very slowly though, and it looked very dark. Okay, let's have a little rest after that mimic encounter. want to bust out of their place of rest anything hiding around the side there nope come on interact
More clocks. Religion Dungeoneering Kit. The Clockmaker's Lament by Enki the Carver. My youth did take away in vain as I toiled it by trade. Had I the hours back again, um, such mischief I'd have made. Alright, in we go. Oh, oh, gelatinous cube. <laughs> I haven't seen a gelatinous cube since, um, oh man, what was that game? Of? Yeah, well, it was uh, Dark Alliance, wasn't it? Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance was the last time I saw a gelatinous cube. Oh no, actually, that's a lie. Legend of Grimrock. Pretty sure well, there was some cubes in there too. <laughs> It's a great, that's a great enemy. Where do you want me to go? Okay. No second chance will I have now, my winding spring has sprung. That tolling is no call to prayer. Too soon my death knell's rung. Hang on a second. What's up here? Read the scrolls. Necromancy, here we go. Necromancy is the magical art of manipulating death and unlife. The greatest of necromancers attain such power over death as to stave it off indefinitely. I, a note left in the depths of the clockmaker's catacombs describes several necromantic spells in their application. Apparently the bodies gathered in the catacombs are being used as undead laborers, carted off to a location east of Helm's Hold. They are raised to unlife and bound in unending servitude to the will of the Thaeans there. Alright, can't go through there yet. Maybe later? Or maybe not at all? What's that energy there? Oh, we missed something. Ah, there was something else to, to hit. Ah, oh, hang on a second. Wait a minute, where did we come from? Oh, I think we must come from that way again. I think my mercenary guy hit them. I'm not a mercenary, my shopkeeper. <laughs> I think my shopkeeper gave him a bit of a punch. Take this hex up. it all up. Can't attack it. Just got to crack it open. It's the real deal. Good. No tongue in there. For minutes pass in triple time. I touched over a carver's bench far better than I stopped my hands to drink and fight and wench. Success. Can 
Okay, no. Oh, this one here. Then I guess we're going. We're going down. Right. Oh, that's that's an interesting barrier there. Hundreds of letters are arranged randomly along the surface of the clockwork box. At the bottom of the gibber gibberish, the word ready is clearly spelled out. Yes. I am the most ominous and portentous hour, both the darkest and the lightest and the greatest of them all. The darkest and the lightest? Twelve? Midnight? Noon? The greatest of them all. I don't know. Midnight? Twelve? Could be either one, right? Let's go with midnight. Wrong. Now you must begin again. Oh, great. What? Just read it again? <laughs> so, I don't know. Midnight? Twelve? A minious and portentous hour. Both the darkest and the lightest. Oh yeah, 12. Yeah, it would be 12 because, yeah, midnight and, and midday, right? Okay. Alright, alright. <laughs> of course. Spitting spiders. Thankfully that's all it said is you have to start again. Being a dungeon or I, I thought maybe we'd fall down a trap door or something some repercussions there any any interacts around here Dead bodies. Oh, here we go. Friend or foe? Treasure chest? Friend? Friend. Inventories for- Oh, what? Oh, come on. Um, oh, actually, you know what? Doesn't matter, really, does it? Because I got my buddy here. So convenient to have this guy. Go over here, I can sell all the treasure. Hopefully, that frees up a little bit of space. Maybe I can get rid of some of these white items. Convert some into refinement points. Alright, that gives me a little bit more space. Really good stuff having that shopkeeper. Yeah, I guess I'm picking up more things because I got... Oh, I don't have any more kits? Man, I thought I bought heaps. Yeah, but really filling that inventory up by using all the interacts now. and chasing us. Stop, please! No! And the right of the Dragonage! Oh, hello again. Your friend as well, I hope. Have fun. <laughs> Shh. 
she got away again. Valindra. Man, my health took a big old hit there. Shoth, the Tomb Queen. Alright, let's go, Barry. Let's do this thing, mate. Oh, Barry's got him. If only I could get that. Whoa! Take that, punk! There you go. 